Hey there and welcome to my channel. My name is Rocco and I do Daz 3D tutorial videos to help you to get the most out of your own renders. And welcome to a long overdue beginner to advanced series that I'm about to embark upon. Uh, if this is the first time that you're looking at Daz to continue the welcomes, then welcome to Daz and I hope you enjoy your stay. And hopefully with this video, I can help you on your way so that you stay for us for quite a while. Uh, if you've been around the block a few times when it comes to Daz, Welcome back, uh, even though some of the stuff in these early videos might already be known to you, but still, it might be worth keeping an eye on them as there's always little things here and there that you can always pick up on your little journey that you continue on. Now, in this particular video, we're going to be taking uh, a very brief overview of the DAS interface and how to change and edit it to your liking. Now, when you first load up DAS, you'll be seeing something looking a little bit like what we see here on screen now with each of the main areas that you're going to be working with visible on the screen right in front of you. Uh, well, if you're not happy with how things look and how things are set up here, then we can always change things around quite easily by employing one of the number of templates that exist within DAS. And what we need to do to be able to do that is we need to come up to this little menu up the top here and we come to Window. And we give that a click and we come down to workspace. And if we come across to select layout, we get this little dialog box come up. Now up here in layout, this is the default setup that we've got. So this default UI that you see around us here outside the box, this is what it is, city limits light. And if we want to change, we can just give it a click and you can see there's what, five, six, seven, seven or so other little versions and other little templates that we have available. Uh, all we need to do is just select one. We'll click this Hollywood Boulevard, give it a click. And in this preview window, it will give a little, very little small preview of what it's going to look like. If we want to see a bigger preview, we come down to the preview button down here and give it a click. And what that'll do is that'll change our setup that we can see on the screen in the back. If we like what we see, all we have to do is hit accept and it will set that in place. Uh, or we can come back up to layout and choose another one. We'll click on that city limits, get the small preview there, click the preview button, and we'll get something looking similar to what we did have, but a few of the things have moved around. Again, if we want that, we can hit accept, or if we don't want that set up, we can just come along, click cancel, and everything will go back to the default city limits light that we had originally. And what we can also do is we can change the style and the, the colouring of our interface. Uh, I know that there was one of the, the layouts that we had there that did change the colouring, but we can change the colouring also separately. And what we need to do for that is, again, we come up to our Windows menu option, down to Style this time, and come across to the Select Style option that you can see there. Again, a similar little uh, dialog box will come up that came up previously. And again, with the little drop-down box up here, we've got three different styles that we can apply uh, the dark side is this base original that we can see we can come across the highway which is something like that again click the preview button if we want to see how it will look uh, in our entire setup or we can come down to main street uh, which looks similar and give that a preview it looks very similar in fact if that's what we want to go with we click accept or if we we want to go back to our original default we just hit cancel and everything will go back to the way that it was now you might have noticed when we were playing around with one of the layouts there that these this pa these panes over on the right or over on the left they seem to be folded right into the side of the screen. I don't know if you noticed, but what we can do is we can affect that same uh, thing anyway. And all that we need to be able to do to achieve that, if we come up to where we've got this scene tab selected, for instance, you can tell that it's selected because it's white text, I suppose, uh, and we just give that a one single click, it will fold in. The pane that's over here on the left and likewise if we did it on the other side we can fold that side in as well just so that we've got these tabs available there all we need to do to bring them back again is to just click on one of the tabs you can click on any tab this time you could click on that tab to bring that side back and if we wanted to click on this tab here called shape and we could click that not only would it select that tab but it would also fold out uh, the panes again so we've got access to all the options that are available in those panes now, just for completion's sake, if you do actually select a tab, it will just select that tab and will change to uh, whatever content is within those tabs. So to actually fold them in, you need to click the tab and then click the tab again to bring it back out. Now, we also have another way to fold in the panes if we wish, uh, if you don't want to just use the, the tabs 
section there that we've got if you just look here there's this little button just right next to my cursor that i won't put my cursor in because the yellow will get in the way with the two left and right arrows the back and forward arrows that you can see there this works exactly the same as clicking one of these pay uh, one of these uh, tabs we just highlight it give it a click and everything falls away nice and neatly and there it is again if we want to just give it a click to bring everything back we just give that a click and it affects the same th the screen in the same way that it does clicking on one of the tabs now if you don't want to fold these type th these tabs and these panes in completely you keep here seeing if i'm just moving my mouse around you can see there's a, an invisible little line there between this this window here and this window there just that little yellow line that when i hover over it it highlights once once we've got our cursor over it cursor over it and it is highlighted if we left click on our mouse and then drag the mouse to the left or drag the mouse to the right we can resize those panes to whichever size that we want them to be same's also true on this side again you just notice the little in out tab there if we wanted to uh, fold that in and out but also there's that little invisible line that we can just resize the tabs as you can see that are these seen uh, these panes sorry that you can see here also within some of these panes uh, specifically on this one there's a little invisible line in here but you can't see it it doesn't highlight which is very helpful but you can see that you know you can just see my cursor change when i hover over it and again i can pull this tab to the left and to the right so we can resize the elements within these panes if we so wish to give us more space to see whatever may be in the relevant sections one final thing to note with these panes as you can see over here there's a little horizontal lines and a little horizontal tab there if we click on that tab and it's very really tricky because it is a bit small give that tab a little click it can open up a little window like that so make sure you look out for those and just have a look and see what's in them again clicking it will collapse it back into its place and likewise uh there's a little up and down arrow just there i mean what i'll do i'll tell you what i'll do i'll turn off my little highlight and now if we come across you can just see the little up and down arrows that you just see here just above where my cursor is this works very similar to, to this little button over here that if we give it a click it works like a little tab that just drops this up and down as you can see and if we bring it back up and likewise there's a little invisible line so that we can drag down and we can drag up this little this uh this little panel to resize it in the vertical if we so wish and now finally if we come across over to this left hand side you can see that there's a number of tabs down here now what you might have might be slightly different to mine i've changed mine over the years and uh, because all this is uh, customizable in the way that you see fit and i'm going to show you how to do this now so as you can see i've got five tabs down the side here if you want to add another tab in and maybe you want it to, to have the same as mine or or maybe you want to get rid of one of them if you but if you want to add one of them in what you need to do is come back up to the windows uh, menu up the top come to this panes tab section and all of these options of tabs uh that have got that are available within daz will be shown now you don't need to know what each of these do at the moment but if i come down and select one let's say this draw settings and i give it a click what you'll get is it'll uh, uh, put that tab as a little floating window within your user interface now what we're able to do with that if we wish is we can come up to the bar at the top uh, and we can drag it around if we so wish like that uh, likewise if we wanted to we can expand it out and, and resize it uh, like you can do with normal any type of a directory window that you might have on your pc or your mac uh, but if we want to put it over here so it becomes a, a tab and it's not floating anymore if we come up to the tab itself where we'd say draw settings and give it a click you can just see my cursor's changed again slightly now one thing if i let go it'll also drag it to somewhere else but we move from a pointer and when i start to drag it it goes back to a cursor and there's a little dotted box and what we need to do is move it across into this dark this darker area here on the panel and just let go and it will drop it in now Daz doesn't give us any sort of notification of where we're able to drop it. We've just got to, to, to second guess that. But uh, that's how we can add these extra tabs in there. Likewise, once it's in place, we can hover over it again, left click and then start to drag and we can reposition it somewhere uh, in the list of tabs that we've got over there, as you see. Now, finally, uh, we might want to remove a tab and there are two ways that we can do that. Firstly, 
we can right click on the tab itself and it comes down to this close pane that's probably the the quickest and, and easiest ways that we can do it or if we drag it back out into uh, into the ui where it's now floating we can just click the x in the top right hand corner like we can do with any type of windows on your pc or any the explorer directory that we've got give it a click and it vanishes so that then has been a very brief intro uh, into the user interface within DAS, how to select the layouts that we want, and then how to customize those layouts even further to get things looking how we really want them to be. In future videos, what we're going to be doing is we'll be looking at each of these tabs in turn, uh, going through what they do and how they do things. We'll also be doing the exciting stuff like creating scenes and adding models into here and putting lights and cameras and posing and, you know, telling stories with the, the images and the renders that we want to create and the scenes that we want to create. Uh, so hopefully you've got something out of this video for now. Uh, if so, give it a like down below uh, as that really does help the video out in the algorithm. Uh, and I'd really, really appreciate that. Really, really would. Uh, also, uh, if you haven't already, if you'd like to consider subscribing and hit the little notification bell down below that will tell you uh that you know another video has dropped in whether it's in this series or some of the more day-to-day -day stuff that i tend to do in daz uh, and it'll also again help the channel out big time and i'd really really appreciate that finally if you have any comments or any questions about this video or about daz in general drop them in the comment section down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i possibly can so thanks for watching hopefully i'll see you next time bye bye for now